Thank you very much indeed. Uh, thank you for the compelling uh, presentations this morning and for the opportunity briefly to respond. I suspect there may be many in this room who think that the government denies the possibility of an oil supply crunch and that it does little to reduce the risk. I want to explain very briefly why I believe that view is wrong. My name is Chris Barton. I look after the International Energy Security Team in the Department of Energy and Climate Change. I have three points to make in three minutes. First point, we don't know what the future of oil supply and demand will be, but we do recognize the risks. Some people see peak oil as an imminent and high probability threat. Others say that demand will peak first and that we don't need to worry about oil supplies. And there are a range of views around those and in between them. And on one side, we get people being called complacent. On the other, we get them being called alarmist. So who's right? Well, we don't know who is right. But we do recognize that the risk of rising and volatile oil prices is real. And we recognize that the risk to climate change of continuing with our current use of oil at the levels we're at is real. And we therefore recognize the need to reduce our dependence on oil as a key way to mitigate these risks. Second point, we are taking action to mitigate these risks. We are taking action to reduce our dependence on oil. The Low Carbon Transition Plan, which was published in July last year, summarizes what we're doing. And we're doing many of the things that are recommended in the report that is issued today. The report rightly advises that we seek to do more on energy efficiency, and we're doing so. It rightly advises that we promote technological developments, such as electric vehicles, and we're doing so. It rightly advises that we stimulate renewable energy, and we're doing so. We recognize the risk, and we are taking action to mitigate it. But, third and final point, we need to work together to do more. Part of that more is to put into practice the plans that we've already laid out, to move from strategy to delivery. But we may also need to do more than we've already planned. We're doing some of the things recommended in the report today, but we're not doing all of them. Should we be? Well, we need to work together on that. Today's report suggests that the government set up a forum with industry to examine these issues. As it happens, we're already in discussion with the Energy Institute about doing just that. We need to work out the details, but the aim will be to get a small group of experts from a range of different viewpoints to discuss practical solutions to the risks we face. So we don't have a firm view on what the future holds for oil supply and demand, but we do recognize the risks. We're taking action to mitigate those risks, and we want to work together to do more. Thank you.